Hey everybody, Mr. Bell's here uh, with a little middle school tennis update. So a lot of things uh, change and craziness during the <coughs> spring uh, with the weather stuff. So I do want to give you a quick update for the rest of this week and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the other tennis things. So the rest of this week, so today, this is Tuesday, April uh, 27th, um, we, have, uh, we have home practice um, uh, with uh, the kids who played last night. A uh, great match with Sturgis, kids had a lot of fun, uh, a lot of good stuff happened. Tomorrow we are going away uh, to Otsego to be able to play, and that's with the Wednesday-Thursday group of kids. Um, waiting on word back from them on their numbers. Uh, hopefully you're going to get that any uh, bit of time now, um, so we have an idea. But everybody should expect to play um, maybe one to two matches uh, over there. Uh, we'll start at 4 o'clock over in Otsego. Again, you can kind of park in the parking lot by the middle school. It might be a little bit closer to their tennis courts. And then um, uh, Thursday, we'll have uh, practice with that group. Uh, Friday, there's nothing because the varsity team has uh, tennis here. Kind of the crazier thing is the following week. Originally, we only had one match scheduled on that, so I want to make sure that we're good on this. Monday of next week, we're going to have both teams coming in practice because we actually have matches Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of that week. So Tuesday, we are away at Allegan, um, and I might have uh, misspoke to a couple people that originally I thought it was scheduled Monday. They have a match on Monday, so it is going to be Tuesday, May 4th, away at Allegan, and that's from our Monday-Tuesday group of kids. And then on Wednesday, we go to Matawan. Matawan usually has a lot of kids, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring both teams on that Wednesday, and that was always on the schedule just like that. So that Wednesday, which would be May 5th, away at Matawan, both groups of kids, all of them that can make it, uh, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll work through all the chaos of that now. And then Thursday is the makeup with Plainwell, and that's just the Wednesday, Thursday kids. They have a much smaller team. Um, so again, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday group of kids away at Allegan. Wednesday, everybody away at Matawan. Thursday, uh, just the Wednesday, Thursday kids away at Plainwell. Um, again, the Tuesday and the Thursday ones are makeups. Uh, so what we're going to try and do on that Monday, because of the fact we play three in a row, we're going to try and get all the kids there. So if you can get your kid there to practice on Monday, that'd be great, considering the next three days are just match days. That's kind of where our schedule is at. Um, I think I put it out to you before that the, um, for those of you who finish in what I guess we're going to consider like the top 16 or so, uh, there will be a conference tournament at the end of the year. The more we play, the more we'll decide those those situations out. So that's not a decision now. But if you want to be part of that, work really hard and uh, be a great sport out there and uh, do everything that you can for it. Those are now on the Thursday. Uh, I do have all the changes on the Google Calendar, and I'll put that uh, uh, as a link uh, in this um, little thing for the video too. Okay, so last night, just to give you an idea. So if you played last night, maybe you don't need to listen to this. You can stop it, but yay, congratulations to you. For those of you who are going to be playing new on Wednesday, typically what we do is we may play a couple singles matches, but most of the matches are doubles matches. When you play those kids, we'll usually do a uh, first team to win six sets and then call it good. If it's tied um, or win by two, so if it's 6-5, you'll play another one, uh, and then we'll do a little tiebreaker. And it doesn't have to be formal tiebreaker for it, um, but we'll talk you through that stuff will kind of set you up as to which courts you'll play on first and against which kids. And then maybe if you want to play again twice, you let us know and we'll talk with the other team and see if we can set up some other matches. So last night we probably got, um, we got everybody to play once and then we probably got about another, you know, 15 kids, 20 kids to be able to play a second time. Um, but Sturgis only had 17 kids, so some of their kids played three or four different times. In terms of how long that should last, again, for our Wednesday, Thursday group, uh, matches could take as, as quick as 15 minutes, depending on the skill levels, to up to 30 to 40 minutes um, for uh, six sets. Uh, Sturgis's skill level is a little bit different than ours, so we did have a bunch of matches that went pretty quick last night. Uh, I don't necessarily foresee that from some of the other places that we'll go. Uh, okay? Uh, having a lot of fun with it. Again, please send... Uh, information, uh, let us know about anything. Um, we're getting all the quarantines and stuff through us, so if you could, you know, do your best to um, 
provide us with that information. If that's a situation, let us know when you're coming off. Uh, again, make sure you guys have been doing a great job with Sunday night testing. Continue to get that testing done so that we can play and get as much stuff in as we can. It's been great working with your kids. Looking forward to uh, uh, the rest of the season. Bye.